Oh, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to record uh, depreciation expenses in QuickBooks Online. So that's the uh, topic of this video. So, uh, uh, so in this example, you know, I bought an equipment for $120,000 and I'm using a straight depreciation method over five years, like 60, over 60 months. And uh, it comes to be about, about uh, $2,000 per month. That's a monthly depreciation expense. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, uh, re uh, re record a monthly depreciation for $2,000 in QuickBooks online and uh, also make this uh, recurring journal entry so that you don't have to write it every month. All right. So uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels and leave a comment if you have a question. So now I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online and go over uh, depreciation uh, expenses. Okay, so I'm on QuickBooks Online, and uh, first you need, you need the, uh, uh, you know, you, you got to have your uh, fixed assets, uh, original cost recorded. So in this case, I have, uh, I'm just going to go to the chart of accounts and uh, show you. Okay, so, uh, so this is the one, the equipment. So the original cost in this case is uh, hundred twenty thousand dollars, and uh, I'm gonna write a journal entry, and so it'd be like a uh, uh, debit your depreciation expense account in your PNL and credit to uh, cumulative depreciation uh, 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 for this account. All right, so I'm gonna go to uh, journal entry form. Okay, so the only entry form is basically you go to the uh, plus new and then you select the only entry. Okay, let's just say this one, you want to do it on April 1. And the debit is depreciation expense. That's your p &L account. Depreciation. All right, and the amount is $2,000. And credit is your uh, cumulative depreciation account uh, for the uh, equipment one right here, number two. So basically, this this is what you're going to do on uh, you know starting from let's say you started to uh, use this equipment um, on January one. I mean April first or around that time. Okay, so. Uh, uh, and then you can fill out the uh, uh, the details in here to record monthly depreciation expense. You know, uh, this has been starting from from April of two thousand. 2024 through then you can figure out in the next 60 months in here okay so and i'm just gonna save this all you have to do is click this save okay and then you don't want to come here and do every month so you just can select this at the bottom you see the make make recurring uh, link in here so next say next one you do uh uh, on the, uh, May 1st. So just click that one. So now this is the uh, uh, equipment depreciation template. Equipment depreciation expense template. And then you just want to schedule this. You know, we have, we have schedule reminder. You want to just post this. And then the, the, it's the monthly one, and you want to do it in first day, and start date. In this case, it's uh, May one, and it will be the end date would be sixty, 
So you just have to figure out, oh, you know, uh, end date is something, you know, like it be like it's five years, it'd be 29 of uh, April. So you need to select the uh, um, buy. So you just select the April 1, 2029. So that's five years. It was if you 60 uh, expenses, 60 monthly expenses, and then it should be zero, right? Okay, just save template and next month uh, on May 1st, we'll just post this thing. Now on the uh, on your uh, balance sheet, you should see see something like this. You bought this equipment for one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and you did your first monthly depreciation. You have the cumulative depreciation, and you have a net uh, balance left of one eighteen. So, you know, it'll kick on uh, depreciating each month for two thousand dollars, and. Uh, and over time, it will so uh, it will accumulate depreciation from month to month, and then at some point it will zero out. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you want to consult with your uh, uh, your accountant to make sure you know your accountant wants to do it over five years, or you know, or they may do it right away and you know just uh, on your books could suggest do it uh, over 60 months. So just need to consult with the accountants for this one. All right, that's the focus of this video. Hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.